All right. So uh, last we left off, uh, we were in the uh, city of, how do I say it again? Oyanis. And you had been tasked with, uh, well, uh, you found a little note, which Morbar was more than happy to translate for you, uh, understanding the nuances of Thebes Con. And uh, kind of told you that you had to go kill someone at seven o'clock. And you didn't do that, but you did get their toes. Um, and, <laughs> and he said- We didn't need to. We didn't need two of them. But you got two of them. Just, you know, maybe. Insurance. Insurance. And then you uh, had, he had told, uh, Moel had told you that he was gonna uh, leave town with Alvini's trading company. Uh, that seems to be having kind of a, we'll say a nuanced relationship with the town. <laughs> Nicely. Uh, but now you are, uh, you, have re you have returned back to the upset loaf where you meet with Morbarn again, uh, toes in possession, uh, Morbarn with nothing new to report to you, but you do have your uh, little uh, evening to share with them. Did about. someone say cherry? What's that? <laughs> Jerry. Yeah, you have not, and then you have not found any, there, no one has sherry at the, um, the uh, upset loaf. We're gonna have to buy a whole cask of it one day. Dominic's talking, yeah. he's muted. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have a surprise for you two. I snuck off and bought you guys a bottle of sherry last game. And I pull it out and give it to you guys. Oh, thank you. So yeah. you, you come in and, and you have to, you know, there's no, this place doesn't even have a, they don't even understand what a bottle service is. So like, they don't have to pay the pork fee. Um, <laughs> we don't need cups. No. Yeah. Alcohol disinfects its all. <laughs> um, so yeah, so you guys are staying there. Uh, you, guys are, you guys are kind of sitting here sharing a drink. Uh, knowing that you've done the favor for the untamed, the bugbear gang here in town. Um, so, what next? We wait. Right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, with our two toes in this bar, they should be returning, correct? We uh, could go it over. Unclear. It was unclear on what the, the mechanism You do know where their base is, um, or if you're going to wait for them to come, come in tomorrow or something, or. I, I thought we wanted to kind of get to them soon, just in case uh, Moel screws up and someone sees him. Yeah, he gets caught. Yeah, we're screwed. Yeah, yeah we could go over directly and just go find, try and find Stis over at the Bugbear camp. Uh, Morbarn, we're trying to make it look like our we took out uh, this guy, Morel, but really we talked to him, just cut off his toes two of them, and now we just want to convince her he's dead. Apparently, he's fled, so and, and problem clear. solved, we hope. He wasn't a bad guy. He wasn't a bad guy either. Yeah, he, he gave not the toes. Birds. It was his idea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, want, he wants out. He wanted yeah. a toe. We took two. We still don't know why they wanted to kill him. We think it was because he was pinching uh, some money off the extortion scheme they have going, or yeah, protection he, scheme. He, he was he was pulling money and apparently that guy Sorry. that was giving us crap at the caravan. Now, what was uh, his name? Albini? Albini. 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 Yeah. Yeah, apparently he is involved in some stuff that we should take an interest in. Yeah, he's selling um he's selling off like uh uh god, what was it called? That magic oh, stuff. Flesh. It's the oh, the yeah. god flesh. God flesh. I, I want to be really clear about that name. I didn't name it after the band. One of my <laughs> players came up with that name. And, they and he named it after the band. Uh, <laughs> they, no, they never heard of the band. So, which is uh, actually well, kind of funny because I, one of my, I, in my, my high school yearbook, one of my, uh, one of my, my uh, classmates' memory they wrote in my, my yearbook was, hey, John, remember that time you tried to sell me those Godflesh CDs? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I have not immortalized that. I at one point owned some godless season trying to pawn them off my friends. Anyway, uh, but hey, who hasn't? So, uh, 
Uh, but yeah, Albini. Yeah, and by the way, Albini's name, I tried to come up with the name of like what would sound like a really crappy couch salesman. <laughs> Albini's couches. And up there. Room. It's good. Yeah. So, but yeah, you guys uh, see that. Uh, we went for an Italian one. Thanks. <laughs> no, no, well, and why, why did you say go? You went for an Italian one and show us your crotch. That was really weird. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is not my crotch. Oh, I don't know what the hell that was. I couldn't see. There's there's flames everywhere. I swear that that's where the burning is coming from. All right. So, <laughs> oh, there you go. You got the background. You make us have the have the background of ourselves. Thank you, Andrea. That's gonna make us oh. that's weird. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah. So, so uh, it's the, the idea from what no, <laughs> Norvar has put forth is that you should go back to the where the bugbears. They're not camped out, but they have a building in the town. That they've kind of uh, taken over. It's a three-story building. Um, it sounds a lot like they have their fa their friends and family, or their their family is in there. Mm. It's pretty well protected, um, but and it's kind of it kind of sticks out. Like they don't take the best care of it, but it's definitely secure. Okay. And you guys know where it is. You guys have been there, mm -hmm. and they weren't like yeah. they weren't telling you to get lost or anything like that. They were just like, okay, cool. Help you Actually, they they welcomed us in, which I thought was very odd. Yeah. Very hospitable. Uh, very, very hospitable, actually. Well, it's because you guys bought them the round. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know bugbears were so easily uh, impressed by, by impressed. Yeah, we, yeah. we bought them a drink. Um, but okay, maybe we'll buy them another. All right. We return with gifts now, two of them. <laughs> yeah. You guys going to keep them preserved in the sherry? Yeah, yeah, just a, no, not the sherry, not the sherry. Not the sherry. <laughs> like the sherry. A, big, a big toe and a little toe. Spend a silver piece on that. Um, yeah, all right, yeah, not the sherry. Okay, <laughs> this is only like, it's only like seven thirty at night. It's, you guys still have an evening ahead of you if you right. do. But you're also welcome to bow out, go back here, go back to uh, my father's place, and is my is my cod piece ready? Oh God, no! It's, it's dude, it's only been like. 12 hours. Come on, give him a break. Stuff. Well, I, I don't know. It's, it, I, don't. I get it. You're two days. Yeah. <laughs> my, yeah, my character is very impatient for this. So, must happen. All right. So, I'm, I mean, I'm down, I'm down for whatever. Since my cod piece isn't ready, I, I really have nothing. <laughs> I have nothing to live for. <laughs> yeah. Just All right. waiting. Yeah. So, um, um, uh, so, you guys mosey on over to the, the bugbears. Uh, residence uh, where the untamed reside and uh, as you approach this more barn you can see that it, it's a it's a three-story building pretty good size seems like an old warehouse maybe um, the uh, it's in the center it's, it's kind of close to the center town it's not the center of town proper but it's close to the center town as you approach you can see there's at least like you know uh, five bugbears outside kind of hanging out patrolling um, you can hear uh, upstairs like uh, families children playing um, stuff like that. Downstairs, it's you can tell that it's it's largely pretty like locked up. Mm. They don't always let people in and out uh, arbitrarily or keep it unlocked. So, oh. Dom, you're you're the social one here. Yeah, Norvar. Uh... <laughs> yeah. All right. So, okay, let's uh, go. So we're there. We can go chat to the, with them, or we 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 agreed to go. Or... Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're there. All right. Yeah. So uh, I wince and look at everyone. And go. All right. Somebody want to give me the? To Who wants to hold the toes? <laughs> Who's holding the toes? I give Charlie, you. you no, nah, you just hold the toes. I think it's careless. Yeah. All right. I'll hold so them in my saddle bag of holding. I walk up in front of the group uh, and lead them in, and I'm like, "Hey, uh, is uh, I go to the first bugbear and I go, hey, Brenda, is um, this around?" She's been expecting you. Yeah, figure. Yeah, come on in. Let's, let's get you in. He goes up to the one at the door. It's kind of like the primary bouncer, the bigger bugbear, and the, the kind of says, they trade a few words in Goblin. And uh, he, he opens the door and lets you on in. Uh, you can see the, the base floor is kind of like, it looks like an old warehouse. There's lots of like boxes and uh, crates and barrels and stuff like that. You can see a stairs leading up, up, up top. Um, 
as you kind of walk in, uh, you you kind of see like the one bugbear as he opens the door, he kind of knocks the door a certain way. And as you walk in, you can see the staircase, there's this coming down the stairs. And there's a few bugbears around here just kind of hanging around, like moving crates and checking mm -hmm. stuff and whatever, doing a little bit of work here and there. She's really crazy. quick. Yeah. Just, are we able to uh, uh, decipher and remember the knock sequence? Uh, I will let you make an intelligence check for that, Zogchen. Nice. Are I don't think I'm not intelligent. Hold on. Is everybody oh, armed one. too? Are people like armed? Or are there people standing? Yeah, they're armed. armed. They have yeah. they have uh you know a lot of the ones outside have have like morning stars. They're not carrying swords so much as like just kind of beat sticks. Okay. Um, that's a mighty ten. Mighty ten. Yeah, you you, you were like, oh, I should probably pay attention to this, and then you missed like the first half of it. <laughs> Damn it. So, you know. Yeah. I tried, guys. That's all right. No, that's a good that's a good one. I, I, um. So. So you come on in and. Um, Stis comes on down and a few of the other members are like, you know, who are, the, who are, these, who are these folks? And Stis goes up and says, uh, so is it done? It's done. Good to hear. Good to hear. Well, welcome. welcome. Do we have a place we can talk or do you care about talking is, here? Um, we don't allow outsiders upstairs. Fair enough. Uh, Tyrellius, you, you keep a... Uh, we keep our business away from the children. Yeah, I get you. Tyrellius, uh, could you show, give her our gift? Oh, yes, of course. And I pull out one toe. Uh, I was going to say, him, not the shirt. Not the shirt. I'm going to get a backup toe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, backup toe. Make just, sure just in case. Big toe. Yeah, give him the big toe. The biggest go. one? Okay. It's, it's like the second over toe. You, did, you didn't chop up the guy's big okay. toe. Like you did, he wasn't gonna no, it. I kind of say, like, you might recognize this. And I roll it out. Not, like, was, <laughs> yeah, you I was half expecting you to pull out the sherry. I was like, no, not the sherry. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like, I told you gift. to kill this guy. So you, you pull the toe out. Everyone knows Moel's toes. Moel's yeah. Toes, yeah. So uh, <laughs> that was addicting. It was Toel. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, Try to get Jerry to do a spit take. Um, so you, uh, <laughs> so you, you pull a toe, and, and she looks at the toe, kind of eyeballs it, kind of rolls between her fingers, her, her large fingers, I might add. Takes it and puts it in a pouch and says, that'll do. So, I throw her the other toe. I just throw the second toe, just to kind of ante up that pressure uh, more. Okay. She's like, I see. I'm, uh, and we're not going to have to worry about him. Uh, we're not going to have to worry about anything being stumbled upon. I doubt it. We, cr we crushed his body. Good, good, good to hear. So, what, uh, what got you interested in our organization? Well, to be honest, um, <laughs> pause. pause. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to compose myself here for the what we're actually what our goals here with these people are. <laughs> I find the, the wizards here in this town. Uh, yeah, and then um, I heard that these guys do run protection. Yeah, no, I knew that. I'm just trying to. Okay. Uh, all right, back on play. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we're uh, we were told that you might know some things that could help us out with some things we're trying to accomplish. Especially, you know, we wanted to see if we could be a help to you, so that hopefully you would be a help to us. Seems about right. Yeah, we're looking for some people. People, we're all looking for someone, right? <laughs> what? Um... All the wrong places. I uh, am trying to. We're trying. I'm looking to for find... a copy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Zogchen. We are trying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very to, confused uh, we're, by all this talk. <laughs> <laughs> we're looking, we've been sent to town looking for a particular group of people who are trying to, shall we say, enter and leave this area uh, without drawing too much attention. Uh, the parties we work for have interest in these people, as you can understand, as a business woman. Woman? Yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that uh, we've been asked to investigate for these people, to try and find these people, investigate this uh, city and try and find these people. And we were told that your group might be a good group to be friends with 
because you're very well informed about what goes on in and out of this city. Yeah. Well, I'm specifically interested in people that Mr. Albini might be working with, bringing in and out, and well, who your people might have noticed. Mr. Albini bringing people in. I don't think Mr. Albini deals too much with uh, person trafficking as it would be. No? Not really his style. No. Um, Sir? Yeah, we know she's lying though, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, well, let's do an, uh, let me do a check to see if she's being truthful on that right, tonight. Was that an investigation, yeah. right? Or for insight? Insight. Yeah, no. I rolled a 20, 20 plus four is 24. Wow. Okay. Nice. So you suspect that. Well, oh, you're in my specialty now, man. This is, this is what Norvar is good at. <laughs> so you, um, you take a second and you kind of like, you kind of you kind of side the perk if you're intent on this, and she doesn't really like Alvini. She doesn't. You can. She's kind of ignorant of what Alvini does, like truly to make money. Uh, she knows that he does stuff that's illicit, um, and is, and does trade and stuff like that. There is kind of a front for it, but she doesn't know like about him moving people. That's something she doesn't. Okay. Um, I whispered to Norvar, do we mention like specifically uh, we're looking for someone like a wizard or a magic like user? Or yeah, someone we're, uh, I look, at, I look yeah. at uh, him and I nod at him and I say basically we're looking for, I'm interested in what Albini's doing because I've had, we've had some information given to us that uh, what he's doing is of interest to us. I'm not sure what. However, we are looking for Magic users, new in town, new in wizards. Town. Wizards that come to town. Yeah, I've, new in town I, or I, recent I, in town I, I, or I've looking to leave town. She, she took a second. She says, I've heard of something like that. No, I crack my knuckles. A little bit. I crack my knuckles and hooves when I hear wizard. I'm like, so so you, you, you say this and like you start kind of like, you start kind of like getting a little intimidating there to your list. And you notice a few of the bugbears in the room kind of like eye you, like that's not cool. Oh, uh, you definitely see one is like put his his hand a little closer to a crowbar than he did before. Okay, I relax my body. No, no, you don't even have to. I just re <laughs> I I just pat I pat him on the shoulder, and I'm like, as you can see, we have a very personal reason beyond our employer for finding these interest these parties. So any help that you can give us, we'll be very grateful. As you can see, we are happy to, we were happy to help you guys out. And we, yeah, we'll gladly uh, oh. take care of anybody else you need. Some, some oh, easy there, buddy. <laughs> that was all. Someone, all right. Someone, she says, uh, someone that, um, that high profile would, would draw notice. And uh, what, what kind of time frame are we, are we talking about here? Like how long ago? Pretty recent. Uh, some situations have changed rapidly. Yeah, actually, I would say I would say last few days would be about right. This is new. Nobody that you would be, no one you should be loyal to. This um, coincides, interestingly enough, with a uh, a recent um, job that the Untamed took on. Yeah. No, we. I don't think it's um, these individuals you're talking about would be hard to hide. Um, they'd be high profile. Uh, unless they're using their powers to slip in and out. Uh, do you know where they came from? Were they were they a little spent? We'll say maybe desperate. Fast. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's about right. A lot of things have changed. I mean, I don't want to go into to it too much. I mean, we could save you the time. We just want to look. We're just looking for people who well, have arrived in a hurry. You see, a few uh, a job came through where I'm, that involved a few of my uh, my boys here, causing a bit of a ruckus. 
And it wasn't really any purpose for the ruckus. It was just the uh, ruckus to ruckus. Yeah, I get you. And um, it was a little suspicious, but it paid well. No questions asked. Yeah, just and um, ruckus, ruckus. It seemed like more of a means of distraction than a means of a. Uh, didn't seem like it had any real purpose itself. Yeah, I got you. What was the. But if this coincides, maybe that was where they're trying to slip through the town a little bit, trying to go make a less noticeable impression. This does kind of sound like the kind of people we're looking for. Um, what kind of, uh, can you tell me what kind of ruckus were you, did you accomplish? Like, what Just were you distracted Just go on out and, you know, start a fight. Well, oh, yes. Throw some, throw a few barrels. Make, make some, some minor misunderstanding, a major misunderstanding. Gotcha, gotcha. You know, kind of uh, your friend here, your, your, your large uh, centaur friend here, seems like the kind that might fly off the handle at the drop of a pin. We were told to uh, do something like that. Drop a pin. So let me ask you this. Uh, I'm sure you don't know who you were distracting for. Why would you, of course? But who hired you for this job, if you don't mind me asking? It was coordinated through a uh, common contact. Uh, mm -hmm. someone we know associated with uh, certain organizations that operate uh, among different cities. Would this particular person be someone that would be willing to talk to us? Could you set up a meeting? You could. It's a meeting. It's going to cost you. That's not kind of meeting we can do. That, that's, uh, you're asking us to bench some favor, but we could do it. How many toes? I did. We did do some favors, but yes, we yeah. would appreciate anything that you can do. I don't want to inconvenience you. Like I said, we're not trying to step on any more toes, but, <laughs> but <it>. we are. <laughs> we are. But Andrea, it is time is of the essence, and we are looking for. Uh, we do need this information. Our our benefactors are very clear that they want uh, this. Be taken care of you might but we can be gen we can be very generous you might say the benefactor has a very clear vision of what they want all right they're so. very they definitely they definitely see all parts of this so yes all right i will set it up um i can't Thank give you. you a name but what i can do is give you a place and a time okay how about uh Tomorrow evening, uh, well, after 10 p.m. or so, I'll set it up for then. Just uh, Sounds good. look for uh, look for a, uh, a a woman in a red scarf at the uh, the upset loaf. Okay, and uh, right. make sure to follow her. You'll, you'll get your meeting. I do appreciate this. This, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you. So she goes to shake your hand, Orivar. Okay. Big maw, like her hand, like encompasses your hand. Um, mm -hmm. and uh, as you guys shake, you hear yelling and frantic screams come from out front. Uh oh. Does this sound oh, like any? Oh, any oh, oh, what the hell? And you hear and you see several of the bugbears in there with her like rush out, like two or three of them rush out. Well, uh, uh, really like, quick, really quick. Who's whoever's next to me? I go shit. I think they found Moel. Classic <laughs> Moel. Let's, let's get <laughs> the fuck <laughs> out of here. <laughs> Fucking blow it, classic. All right. Let's uh let's go see what's going on. So you nah, let's let's see our asses out of here. Like, we'll just calmly calmly walk a uh, trap no, out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, so how are you guys going to try to get out? Uh, we're well, upstairs, right? We're, we're, no, no, you're, we're you're not. On the bottom, you're on the flat floor, and okay. you guys can see the door. It's open. Yeah, we have no choice but to go through the door. So yeah. let's go ahead and just so You, you go to the door where a few of the other guards are, and you see them, and, like, they're all kind of looking around. Um, some of them have, like, produced uh, – there's, like, two of them have bows and arrows ready, like, like, and they're they're aiming up in, the, up in the air, and a few of them are kind of, like, like looking way up in the air. And a few uh, of the other ones are kind of looking around, like, the corners and shit. But you see in the in the middle of the, of the ground is like a blood splattered bugbear flat on the ground. 
Is it look my, familiar okay. to us? Is I pull my sword and how many I, toes does it have? It only yeah. has it only has eight. Ah! Bro, what the fuck? Oh, listen, <laughs> listen. So you, it, it, you're based on the clothing. It looks like Moel. Yes, Moel. Listen, I knew that motherfucker was gonna get trapped. <laughs> I knew okay. it. I knew it. Right? So, All right, hold on, hold on, everybody. I, I put my hand up to everybody, and as we go up to the bugbears, I'm like, I, 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 I make a show of this. I, I look at them, and I look down, and I'm like, Morborn, you said you stashed the body. <laughs> Can I say it? I did stash the body. <laughs> you stashed it that good. <laughs> Okay. Uh, we told you we killed Moel. There it is. <laughs> all, right, all right, John. How many how many bug bears are in our way? Uh, right now, out, outside, there's about uh, seven of them total. And Stis is walking out behind you guys. There okay. No need, now, and then I look at him. I'm like, there's no need to kill everybody. Keep rolling with this. Yeah. Yeah, but what I'm telling you is, if need be, I can I can Hulk out, <laughs> try to clear the way for you guys. Can we kind of? I mean, do we know that they have realized? Like, can we read from the situation that they've realized, like, oh, that's Moel, or are they still kind of like they're they're about there's, there's a combination yeah. of confusion. Along I mean, maybe with we can scout out. Um, looking, Someone sneak up and cut off a couple more toes. Hold on, I, I again raise my hand and I look over at at Stis and I'm as she walks up and I was like, apparently this situation is more complicated than I had was led to believe. Yeah, she she goes up and she like she takes her morning star and like uh, knocks him over. And, and like you can see like the busted face and like how flopped it is and like it, it's pretty clearly Moel. We and, delivered. Uh, we delivered. The, she's like, what, what the, where the hell did this come from? And like one of the other bugbears is like, he got tossed off the roof and points to the, the building across the way. He came down screaming and everything. That was a, one of our guys. That was one of our guys. That's impossible. <laughs> I just go, that's impossible. She's like, she looks at him and sees the toes missing and she's like, I thought you guys said you killed him. We did. I thought we. I thought he was. He was dead. He was he dead when we left him. Yeah, he wasn't breathing. Is there make anybody? A, is a, there Dominic? Deception check. Nice. Yeah. We can't act like we don't know. Oh, oh, don't know what they're talking dead. about. Yeah, this blew it. We should killed. We should have taken care of. Well, if I 19. was there, if 19. I was there, a dude would have been 19. dead. Nineteen. I'm like, oh, we thought he was dead. He. We left him dead. I don't know how he's alive. Who's who are you people involved with? So she kind of looks over. She looks over the body, and uh, she's she like kind of like uses her mortar to pull open his shirt a little bit. And there's like something carved into his chest, like not like a fatal wound, but like something like 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 they carved it something into him. And uh, he's also gagged. I might add too. Um, they, and, I uh, thought he was screaming when he came down. Well, you can go. Work. Yeah, it was like that. It was like the the bugbears are pretty sure he was alive on the way down. <laughs> it was his butt. So, uh, and he, uh, yeah, he, um, uh, she goes, she kind of looks up at you and says, uh, kind of like gestures at the, at the cut in his chest. You sure? You sure he was uh, dead when he left him? And like, and, he, and like, kind of points to this, this carving in his chest. I have no idea what's going on. All I know is that you guys left us. You, we were given a note. We did the job, and now I find somebody screaming, throwing off. So apparently, your situation is more complicated than I thought. I go. Perhaps this might. And though, considering who we're looking for, this might be their work as well. But I'm curious as to why he would be brought back to life only to be killed again. What is that message? Do you know what that, that message is? Maybe there's two no Morels. No, this two is... Two Morels. Uh, two no, Morels. I, I look at Morborn and I go, no, this is ridiculous bullshit. We're here to find some people and now this? What the fuck is going on? Listen, all I need to know... Wrong this potentially could be... I'm, I'll say this much. This potentially could be the work of the people we're looking for, but this is weird. And I don't know what's going on, but you weren't as honest about, we did what we were supposed to do. I don't know what this means. What is that insignia? What does that mean? Because that was not on his body when we left. So, so you, reverse uh, psychology. I am lying yeah. my ass off right yeah, you, now. No, you really are. You're lying a lot. And that's the problem. Good job, Noravon. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's like. I'll roll again. <laughs> no. I, I'm <laughs> really good at deception. You, 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 kinda, you had it going for a little bit, then you, but then the problem just kept on talking. Uh, <laughs> 
No, all I said, basically what I said was, I'm basically pissed. I'm like, dude, we left this guy dead. Now he's throwing off a fucking cliff with a fucking insignia on him. What the fuck is this? Farting the whole way down. <laughs> yeah. So, um, the uh, Morbon, you, you see this like cut into his chest. And you in your thieves can't, you kind of, it kind of looks like nonsense to some of you, but like, so you kind of picks up as like, it's kind of thieves camp like warning. Like this is a warning. Uh, something was someone like fucked up basically. What does it say on his chest? Well, you can pick it. You read it. It just says it, it, it's not like a language. It's more of like a symbol. Like a Stussy S. Yeah, it's it's kind of like an underground kind of like 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 uh like the hobo markings. You yeah, know, I was thinking you, yeah, yeah. hobo markings. Yeah. St I go. I turn to Stis and I go, Stis. Who is this person involved with? Like, because whoever it is, is somebody very, this might be exactly who we're looking for. Who, like, I need to know who this person was involved with because this might be something, this might be a warning to us, not you. We, uh, she's like, she looks at the other person and says, get him inside. And like, they drag the body inside and they start kind of trying to clean up the dirt a little bit. Uh, she's like, yeah, why don't we go back inside and have a conversation then? Okay. I, we turn to follow. I, I look over at uh, Zog Shen and I'm like, be ready. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if going back inside is a good idea. Who wants to go inside with uh, Norvar? And who, which one is pushing I'll, I'll, I'll go inside because I can hulk out and, and maybe <laughs> like wait. run towards the door and knock it down or some shit. Uh, I'll uh, go outside and just sort of like, yeah joke with the other bug bears uh, outside. I mean, if, if you guys want to look at the roof or around the area, that might not be a bad idea. Yeah, more hey, you might want to look to see how the hell it got here. I'll table at the bar. <laughs> so you're going to do what? I think she wants to go to a bar. Okay. No, I was just saying I'll hold on to our table. So we well, don't <laughs> with the bugbear's den. Like, you guys, area, you guys so. Oh yeah, we're at I'm there. not super stoked about going in there as well, but like I have to talk. Who's inside and who's staying outside? I'm on the damn roof. I'm already up here looking okay, so for Morbon, our team. Morbon, you saunter off. And you start trying to you start trying to find a way to get on the roof of the building um, where the guy was thrown from. Uh, Tira, that's where you going? Uh, I'm outside, kind of like uh, you know, watching. just shooting the shit with yeah right. the other guys who are outside. Right. Like I was and and uh, Norvar doing the uh, negotiating. Okay, sounds like a plan. Um, so she says, uh, and she doesn't seem to mind your guys like hanging outside. Um, do you want to make it clear that Morbarn, did you want to try to sneak off or did you just want to like walk off like whatever I'm going to do this anyway? Oh, no, I'm, I don't want to look suspicious. So I'm just going to walk as if there's no problem. Too late. Okay. I'll say, you, I'll say, you, I'll say you just help out. Um, so you kind of, you kind of, you kind of bugger off and then uh, start making your way up, up top. Um, how, how do you want to try to get top of the building? Do you want to try to climb the side of the building? Do you want to try to go inside? How do you want to do it? Well, I thought there would be like some uh, old keg barrels in the it, back. It's like, a, it's like a it's like a two story building. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, then I'm just gonna have Tyrolis throw me up there. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. like, you guys want to see something? It's an old so, act we used to do in the tournament so ring. So you, you you pick up the gnome. Yeah. And to kind of give him a boost up, I and mean, you can throw him somewhat. You can throw him up a little bit, but like uh, more barn. You have to you kind of cling onto the side of the wall. And start clamoring up the top of it, um, which really is a problem for you. Because I think you're a, I think you have a thief build. Um, My dexterity is. Yeah, your dexterity is really high. Pretty high. Uh, but I believe, yeah, you have second story work, so you can actually just you can climb as fast as you can run or something. Um, so you start just climbing the building, no problem. Uh, with here, this is help. And the other bugbears are kind of like, they're like, I mean, she's gonna get caught. They don't like us climbing the building. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, <laughs> I just reassure them, like, oh, I used to do this in the tournament ring. It's an act we did. Like, I kind of, yeah. you know, frame stuff. it like, yeah. 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 Go way back. Yeah. We so, did this in the uh, ring. You start climbing up. Zog, uh, we'll, I guess we'll come back to Norvar and Zog here when Donald gets back. I'm here. I'm, um, I'm, okay, you're here. All right. So, uh, you, uh, you, you go on inside and stiss, they close the door, and some of the bugbears start taking the body and, like, stuffing it into a crate. Um, they don't want the other kid, they don't want the kids to see it. They want to make sure they can get it out of here. I'm um, not too much suspicion. And she says, um, you should have told me the truth from the get-go, Norvar. 
I'm telling you the truth now. Last I saw that guy, he was, he was dead. Now I hear that supposedly he was screaming, being flung off your roof with a warning on his chest. I have no idea what's going on. All I want to do is find the people we came to look for. Says, a bunch of wizards who are causing problems. That's it. You're the one that threw a note down at the bottom of a bar. We just happened to answer. You guys didn't even offer us any money for that. Did you talk to him before you killed him? Enough to figure out that it was Morel. He didn't say anything about what what the problem was. I didn't ask. I didn't ask any questions. I wanted to talk. We wanted to talk to you. She kind of eyes you and she kind of gives you an eye and says, uh, "This crust has to. This this crust has to." Be strong. Oh, I'm sorry. Is my agitation at the fact that somebody we killed is now so supposedly alive and thrown off the roof of the building somehow disturbing and causing suspicion? Because I find myself a little disturbed by recent events. How many people are in this room? <laughs> uh, there's like there's like eight it of like them. couples counseling. <laughs> they're not like surrounding you. They're not like they're not like they don't have weapons drawn or anything like that. But they're like kind of on edge. This this is just like she just like. Dude. I'm ready to John Wick this situation. Yeah, Hulk out. <laughs> I'm gonna Hulk out. Well, no, no, no. Because we still no, could, we could still save this meeting. No way, I'm on the meeting. roof. I think we can <laughs> save. <it. laughs> She's like, he's dead. He's dead. Our, 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 we need him. Okay, let me let me walk you through our situation. Like Nora, bugbear. Moel, Moel needed to die. He needed to be disposed of, but we couldn't have it look like we got rid of him. Completely understand. I get it. I totally understand, and I so, totally sympathize. I don't know why this motherfucker needed to die twice. That's what I'm curious about. Okay, so uh, she kind of says, um, "Someone's sending us a warning about uh, interfering and working with, uh, maybe even working with you." Did you talk to anyone else in town? Con piece, dude. Uh, We've been looking like, around. Oh, we have been house. asking questions. We have been asking questions around the caravan. I'll offer that much up, but honestly, talk to Albini. I did meet Albini. He's been kind of a problem, and uh, Moel was getting too close and too chummy with them. Is that what's going on? We have been. Get, we were given information about Albini. Uh, that he was a person of interest in our investigation. Hey, I'm being honest here. I don't give a fuck why you had a problem with Morel. Your problem with Morel is not my problem. My problem is a bunch of wizards. That's my problem. Wizards yeah. who potentially can bring somebody back or make it seem like they're alive. Wizards who potentially could use magic to find somebody's body. And if they're working with Albini, as far as I'm concerned, they could all die. Jesus Christ, I hope this works. Yes, yeah, so I start slow clapping. What are you talking about? No. No, don't clap. Don't clap. <laughs> We're talking yeah, about yeah, as you as you stand yeah. there outside the door, you, you start hearing more barn and you just clapping, <laughs> <laughs> stopping all my hooves. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you you kind of you kind of take a second here and like try to convince and make a persuasion check, dominant. Persuasion or deception? Persuasion. Plus two. Okay. Because you weren't like lying hard, like you were. No, I'm not lying hard. Giving a, giving a good version of the story that sounded good on your part. I got a plus three in persuasion, Holmes. Seventeen. Okay, so you take a second. You kind of. I told you, you guys are you guys are in Norvar country now. Yeah. Breathe it in. Yeah, she says Albini's been kind of an issue. Uh, he's been a little harder to uh, work with. Yeah, that's what I mean. We think that he's uh, moving things he shouldn't be for the town. Things that would make uh, put way too many eyes on us. All right. Well, so he, it sounds like we have a mutual interest. But from what we get, is Albini's leaving town tomorrow? Was uh, did Moel say anything about trying to break out with him? Nah, he didn't say anything. Nothing really. He was like, the only thing he said was, "Don't take my toes." He was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> here. <laughs> 
<laughs> he was. Uh, you hear that from the he roof? Seemed, the listen, I'm going to be honest with you. He yelling down in the in the chimney. <laughs> he said, "Stop!" When, we were taking his toes. <laughs> when he uh, when when we faced him, the only thing that he really talked about was he seemed pretty clear that you were behind sending us. That I will say. To just ask it. The Untamed don't have an issue with let, uh, letting each other know about our grievances, but we just don't want outsiders to know about our grievances with each, with each other. Keep it in the family. I understand. Luckily, it seems like the only people that witnessed his swan dive is us, but I'm still a little weirded out why a dead man was screaming, tied up, thrown off your roof, and who could be capable of doing that? But I am sorry if I seem strange, but this is weird. So... She Usually the second, people I kill stay dead. She takes a second, gives you the whole Larry David thing where she tries to see if you're lying or not. And uh, she's like, okay. We'll, um... Doesn't matter, he's dead. And it wasn't by our hands or witnessed by anybody. As far as we're concerned, some local gang or someone threw him off. I could see, she takes a second, I could see Albini doing this. Interesting. Trying to... Trying to make sure to cover up any ties knowing that Moel was ready to sell himself out becoming useless to him but from my understanding Alvini's leaving town tomorrow mm. well I wouldn't bet on that what, what makes you say that yeah. the dead Sasquatch that just flew off your fucking roof <laughs> Well, no, Alvini is leaving town. No, I mean, like, Alvini will be found. What are you talking about? Wait, Alvini is still in town, or is he leaving? Yeah, Alvini is leaving Did town. You say he it? told you his caravan is leaving tomorrow. Right. Right, so she said, I know he's leaving. I thought she was saying, like, well, he's going to leave town, so it's, you know, it's a moot point. And I'm like, That's her problem. She's like, yeah, he's going to leave town. He doesn't have to. I, I think he does. It ain't gonna look too good if uh, we op openly go out and attack out one of the car a caravan we normally uh, run protection for. Gee, I wonder who could possibly do that. Tell you what, you head down the road. You head down the road a few miles, about twenty thirty. Why don't you see what he's what he's pushing? Maybe find out what Moel really had going on with him. Hey, it looks like you and I have a mutual interest in a very weird situation. We're down. Tell your guys that are guarding that not to fight too hard, and we won't hurt anybody too bad. But we'll de definitely. So they don't they don't guard outside of town. They guard like inside of town. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah. So uh, tell her. Yeah, we can do this outside of town where it's not your problem. No problem. No bring, and she's like, uh, why don't you bring me back to find her speed? Huh? Like, if you're going to beat the caravan up and steal shit from it, bring back something for us. <laughs> like a toe. <laughs> a toe? <laughs> you have a toe. Out of our thing now. Yeah. Uh, we're, called well, toe, we're called the toe bandits. <laughs> toes and cod pieces. Toes and cod pieces. <laughs> So let me My get life. this straight. You want us to bring you guys a gift. Okay, you know what? We'll keep you in mind. You're definitely helping out. We still want that meeting with the person. We'll see what we can do taking care of this. This clearly was a violation of a whole bunch of stuff. I'm very much not feeling these people, by the way. I think <laughs> you should be able to sense this. Because all we're basically doing a bunch of shit for them. We're getting... We're getting almost nothing out of them. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Well, I, just, I mean, I understand yeah, that's why I say... story perspective, but... Well, I'm saying, what the fuck? well, I'll explain that after. I, I, you know, I see that you're pissed, and that's okay. It's okay. It actually works. <laughs> it works for the whole bit, my whole life here, that you're, we need to be angry and confused. And so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so, like the uh, American people. That, that we got drawn into some bullshit. So that, like, you being hostile is fine as long as you don't kill anybody. Mur murder well, murder. look, I mean, if this conversation goes any longer. We're done here. <laughs> Okay. So <laughs> back in the game, I go, so, okay, listen. Morbarn, we'll you, take you, oh. get to the, you get on top of the roof. What, this is, you guys have this oh. conversation. This is occurring. Morbarn, you get on top of the roof. Cheers, you see Morbarn 
Like, I mean, it's like watching a monkey in a tree. Just literally clamors up the, up the side of the building pile. More barn, you get to the top of the roof. What do you want to do? Well, I'm, I'm listening to this conversation. So you, you didn't hear any of that conversation. You are a completely different place. Oh, all right. So, yeah, you heard none of that. You, you went up to the top of the roof to investigate, I assume, where this guy was thrown from. Yeah. Okay. So, you get to the top of the roof, and mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's kind of a, a flat, basic roof. Uh, it would definitely look like kind of thing you could run along if you wanted to for a while mm -hmm. without much issue. Uh, it's, been, it's been a few minutes. Whoever did this is long gone, you're pretty sure. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you want to what do you want to do at the top of the roof? Let me think about that. <laughs> I mean, there's not a whole lot I can do from the top of the roof. Well, you can investigate. Look. You can investigate. Yeah, you can like, cracks, what, like see if cracks, weird stuff. Signs of a struggle, a struggling bugbear that was thrown off. Yeah, these yeah. things okay, are giant. So these are like Chewbacca. Like these yeah, things are crazy big. huge. So something yeah. was able to beat it up, tie it up, drag his living body to the core edge of the roof and throw it off. So something oh, the big. the roof that I'm there. on? Yes. The yeah. roof you're on by yourself. Have fun. Yeah, I assume you were looking at the roof where he got thrown from. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it's obvious that there was a, a big struggle here. Yeah. Uh, there is. You, like, you, you can want to investigate that. Some there, there, Sherlock. More barn. <laughs> So more right, you can clearly see that on the gravel. You don't even see it. solved. <laughs> you can you, where where he's being kind of thrown from. You can clearly see that there was a scuffle up here, like he was struggling, uh, pretty hard. Uh, and you can see like where like the the gravel on the roof has kind of been dispersed and stuff like that, and disturbed yeah. from where he got thrown from. Yeah. So I'm looking. There's tufts of fur. Uh, uh, not really too much. Tough. There's not like it wasn't like he was like. Uh, make an investigation check more barn. So just roll a d20 and add four to it. It's hard because you already know like what it looks like. And I, so every time I try to describe it, you're like, no. It's no, there's not tufts of fur. There's, there's nothing like that. I thought he was struggling. Yeah, but he's not that hairy. I mean, he's not I like. I thought bugbears are Sasquatch. No, they're not that hairy. They're hairy, but they're not that hairy. They're not Chewbacca hairy. Noravar? This is like Moel, too. Moel was uh, very groomed. So I'm oh, a half elf, man. <laughs> Everybody's hairy compared to me. You're hairy compared to me. I'm a half elf, man. I barely have anything. Woo! Okay, so what am I checking? Uh, investigation. You got it. <laughs> Fifteen. Okay. So you start to look around, and one of the things you you pick up pretty quick up here is that there is some blood on the gravel. Blood on the tracks. And you're pretty sure that that thing they carved into his chest was done up here right before they tossed it. Yeah. And you can tell that it was at least at least two people brought him up here. It wasn't just one person. All right. So we're looking at two people. Yeah, you're like two. Two? Two people. And there's blood and I'm going like this and I'm Smelling it. Um, oh, it's still okay. pretty fresh. Yeah, it's still pretty fresh. It hasn't been completely coagulated <laughs> or dried out. Yeah. The hunt is on. <laughs> oh. You yeah. are the weirdest little gnome I have ever met in my life. You're like ultimate warrior. You're just yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> no, and then uh, so I'm like, okay, well, I if I reenact what just happened, if I'm Morel. You can see that he struggled on the way to the edge of the roof. Like they, they made sure he was conscious. He was at least conscious when they carved this thing into his chest and conscious up to when they threw him. The rest love... looks like he was dragged though. Like he was dragged up here. I prepare my net out just in case uh, Morbarn decides to jump. jump off the roof. Yeah. yeah. So that, honestly, the, with Morbarn, that's a complete possibility. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm noticing is that there's a ladder. On the yeah, there, there's a there's like a there's like a um like a ladder on the side of the roof on the other side going down to another building. Is anyone else picturing her as a gnome walking around saying this all out loud? Yeah, so totally. I'm noticing totally. a ladder. I just think gnome like Columbo yeah, is a gnome. I, yeah, Columbo gnome. I love this. No, this is great. I want to watch this in a different like, situation. For the record, you guys all sounded like this too when you were six and started playing. <laughs> I am not hating. I love this. I love. 
love every moment of your role playing experience. <laughs> Don't think I am giving you shade. Okay. Keep going, so, You're doing good. Thanks. So I I I think that there that down the that those two people that dragged up Moel Moel <laughs> went down this ladder. Tyrolis, go around and check out what's at the end of this ladder. Okay. So sorry, right. you, go, you go around and you see like another building that's a little bit shorter. Um, mm -hmm. And you can kind of see there's some crates stacked up behind it. Uh, you're guessing they may have clambered up these crates, got on top of the building, climbed the ladder, and then took Moel there to make the demonstration. Do I see any tracks that, like bugbear tracks, humanoid tracks? Uh, like... I mean, it is an alley and it does yeah. have a lot of traffic. Uh, yeah. And none of these would be out, none of these tracks would be out of place. Um, but I'll let, you make a, um, I'll let you make a perception check to see if you can find anything. Okay, cool. Just to see. Like hella hairy. <laughs> oh boy, that's, that's a advantage. big old four. Yeah, I was gonna say just that because you're. you're I'm you like, know, I oh, found my oh, tail. Oh, it's my oh. own tail. Well, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's nighttime and you don't have dark vision, so you kind of look okay. around. Yeah. And uh, you don't see anything out of the ordinary. I mean, it's an alley, and there's I mean, there's definitely tracks around here, but I mean, it could be anyone's tracks. It could be horse tracks. I mean, it could be mm -hmm. uh, people tracks, cart tracks. Who's the, tracks? This alley sees, the alley sees a lot of tracks. Okay, I tell Marlboro, I'm like, I don't see any tracks. Uh, they could have gone any which way. Fair enough. Look for blood. There's a lot of blood up here. Oh, yeah. I, I, want, I want a mini series that is just about uh, Morbarn and Tyrellius solving yeah. mysteries. That's yeah, it's like Law and Order. Law and Order, order and uh, Morbarn and Tyrellius. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like the muscle. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Morbarn like comes up to your knee. <laughs> like, and I'm like, there's a ladder. Uh, it's so, too uh, it's too dark. I don't I, see any. Yeah, no you blood. don't see any blood down here. No blood. Check out. All right, so I'm I'm down. I'm off. Yeah, the yeah. You come on down. You meet, you 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 meet with Tyrellus. You kind of get the path where they got up here from. Uh, Morbarn, I'll let you make. You can make it for something. Check though. If you want to try to find any blood down here or tracks. You're, yeah, you're closer to the ground. You probably can see better. <laughs> Twelve. Well, you look around. There's no blood. There's no blood out here. Like I said, you're pretty sure they did the cutting up up top before they threw them. Yeah. Maybe as a way to even wake them up. Oh man. Sounds yeah, like Moel yeah, had a terrible death. And you what know that this symbol is on right his chest. Two of it's them. a warning. It's a pretty brutal warning system, like symbol. It's not. It's like very much. You know who. You know where you fucked up at. Look at this building next to the den. It has the same warning. No, no, the warning. I'm talking about the warning on his chest. But you don't. I'm talking about when you saw it earlier. Yeah, I know, but it can't find it again. Like it's like they're insane. No, they, they didn't. They didn't do it again. It's it's just on on him. Yeah, this these people. This building looks like it's just kind of an innocent like people's building. They used to climb up there. Okay. Hmm. Should we, uh, let's see if we can uh, find Norvar and Zogchen and uh, get out of here soon then, if they're done or if they're in trouble. And we'll tell them what we found, what you found. Thanks. So you guys come on back and you you, you, you trot back to your list and with, with Norvar in tow and no, no It was great climbing. Me. I'm like, just giving you and, a, like, uh, you did a great job. Uh, Hopefully we're alive to walk out and meet you. You guys see yeah. Zogchen and, and uh, Norvar. Uh, you can see that Norvar's got a little bit of blood on their, on, on their hand. Uh, <laughs> a little bit of blood on their hand. Uh, kind of dried up a little bit here, but uh, seems a little proud of it. Like, <laughs> I found. Um, oh, wait. Come on out. It's important to blend in. Is, <laughs> wait, is this where we? Did they walk back into the room or are we meeting? No, you out? guys walk out. Like, you guys are outside with them. Okay, we're outside. We concluded yeah. our meeting. Yeah, yes. okay. This was like, That's good. Let's, uh, and I, I look at them and I nod and I, let's, I say, let's walk away <laughs> before we talk. And then we walk, walk, uh, everyone walks a little ways away, like, you know, kind of like yeah. half a block or a block away from the bugbears. Are we in danger, Norval? And I'm like, then I immediately go like, well, that was the shitty situation. Please tell me you guys have news. Morbarn found some things on the roof. Morbarn? Yeah. I didn't find much on the roof. But. Okay. Okay. I like. <laughs> I like how you open up that story. Where? What did you find? Keep us in suspense. <laughs> I didn't find so, much. There, it was clear that that 
there was that struggle and that he was injured on the roof and then thrown off. So I'm, I'm thinking that somewhere near this building is where there's like a, they interrogated him. And there was two, she uh, looks like, right? Yes, thank you, tearless. Yes, details, details. <laughs> there were two of them or one really big thing with lots of arms. I mean, perhaps it is this Alvini and some of his men did this. And since they're leaving tomorrow, I mean, I wonder how, you know, yeah. we follow it back and scope that out. Well, I'm curious as to see what, like, what level of creature they had that could haul a bugbear off mm. up to a roof and throw him off. Because we were talking to all the bugbears, so it wasn't one of them. Um, any indication of which direction it might have headed? Did you see any tracks? Too dark. Couldn't yeah. see much. And it's the city, and, too. Oh, somebody said too dark, and also it's a, it's a very well-traveled road. Traffic. So. Yeah, it's a road, real traffic road. Yeah, the marks have been hidden already. Well, what do you guys think? Uh, somehow we managed to survive that disaster. Do we want to go start another disaster and check out the <laughs> caravan tonight, or do we want to try and catch it in the morning? What did Sista, were we in danger with the, the untamed, or how did you get yes. us out of that one? I mean... I mean, I don't think they believe me worth a damn, but at least we're alive and the deal's still on, so that was worth it. I mean, Let's you know. find another ruckus and get all the information that we need. <laughs> you are a very dangerous yeah, I mean, little gnome. Zogchen just looks tense. Why no, I'm, 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 I'm tired. needs to hulk uh, out, man. I'm tired, of, I'm tired of the untamed. Yeah. I'm, I'm done with them. Please, it's the untamed. <laughs> <laughs> the untamed. Okay. <laughs> do you guys, what do you guys think about checking out the caravan uh, space again to see if we see anything over there? Or should we just head in and get ready to get up early? I mean, this place? Let's go maybe to we might have yeah. to get out of town now to catch Probably them. They, they might leave early. Maybe some, what if, no, I was going to say Morbarn is a rogue. What if Morbarn somehow snuck on the caravan and then we went out early to ambush the caravan? Got me on the inside. I would Remember. rather not. No one okay. inside. <laughs> Sorry. Well, all in favor of more barn, like sneaking onto the caravan. Uh, you are a sneaky raise their hand. I, yes. I, yes. The, DM, the DM's voting yes for the more barn sneaking onto the caravan. Okay. This, all right. This I'm is brilliant. sneaking on. <laughs> be, be aware. Andrew, I know you're new to D&D, &D, but be aware when the DM gets excited about you trying to do some weird shit. Because, like, it's good. my mind is yeah. going everywhere now. It's amazing. <laughs> Why don't we take. Why don't we? Why don't we go check it out, and then Morbon, you can do your your small gnome, gnome, mode. Your gnome ways, and then we can. Um, we'll meet you. We'll have to come up with a signal that way when time is right or something. You're in trouble. Yeah, you know. Yeah. All right. So I like this. I like this plan of action, and uh, so <laughs> what I'm gonna, I, I think I'm gonna have to call it here then because. I, I need to call us a cool action for, I want to have a really cool opening action scene for more of our next <laughs> uh, as opposed to kind of BSing it, which I don't mind BSing it, but I want to do a cool little action sequence for more barn where more barns like going to become the gnome on the inside. Yeah. Some kind of oh yeah. And ambush. I like yeah. this idea a lot. Uh, Can I? Uh, yeah. 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 You can, do a whole, you can do a whole montage. Like I, mean, I envision this as a montage of more barns <laughs> in while like you have Zog Chin hooking out, like putting tree trunks on the road. And yeah. <laughs> You know, uh, Maybe I can volunteer yeah. myself to like, pull one of the caravans. I want like the big montage, like in Predator, with between yeah. Bogshin and Tearless, like set the traps and everything. That's what I oh, and I was wearing my uh... and your coffees. <laughs> yeah, yes, they might not be ready by the time we leave town. <laughs> no, uh, I was wearing my um, Duke shirt. Oh, yeah, okay. I plays oh Duke yeah. Shirt. yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Nice. Yeah, I'll have to wear it next time. The whole time. All right, cool. But we'll we'll pick it up next week then for sure. And uh, I like I'm liking this direction, guys. I'm okay, like, good. I, I want to see some rogue action. I, I've been dying for some good rogue action. I mean, we got a rogue. We got to eat. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Tearless yeah. gave the good. That's great. And <laughs> yeah, and then and then Zogchen's kind of doing the Danny Glover thing, saying he's too old for this shit. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Tearless is just kind of incorrigible. He's like, I'll, you know, I'm down to do whatever, guys. Like, yeah. <laughs> you want me to kill him? Like, I prefer to kill them in, in front of a, a live studio audience. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like a wrestler, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah Norvar is like bullshitting his way hard. So I love it, guys. All right, cool. Well, we'll pick it up next time then. 
That was fun. Uh, nice. All right. Yeah. Thank, thank you guys. Yeah. yeah I'm glad we got the DM excited.